basically helping you having an on-time uh, arrival at a, at, at a destination. Just imagine if you order your things online, right? You want your shipment to get to your house online. Just imagine it arrives two days later. What are you feeling about it? You no longer want to use that service, right? It's the same thing. You want your customer to be happy. So when your customer is happy, what's next? You ask for more money from the customer. This is a system how it works. <laughs> and of course, you improve utilization meaning you need less locomotive so you can save more money for the, for the company. So I don't want to go too much detail, but pretty much this is all the input data. If you really want to work in this area, your important thing is your data. We may have an excellent team, good in brain research, good in computer science, and if your data is really bad, your solution is going to be bad as well. So, question. Yes. Uh, does it happen that uh, uh, these local marks uh, will offer traveling of the locomotive or locomotives only without the carriages? Yes. Uh, yes. To, to one uh, from point A to point B? Yes, yes, sir. Good question. They call light travel. So light travel is for representing only. So you know it's going to be fluctuation or sur surplus and deficit. So you predict ahead of time, and then you just send them empty there. But it's actually not so very good, because pretty much it could not create any revenue. It purely costs. But it helps you to improve on-time performance. So it's like a balance. So in theory, you want to decide. Let's say Shaman, you're creating a schedule that actually fully balanced. Right? And, and it could always create the revenue. That actually is the perfect scenario. But it's not always going to happen. Because it's always, people will order goods from west more than east, something like that. So you cannot actually always making a perfect balance schedule. And what is the percentage of that kind of uh, uh, yeah. journeys? Uh, I think it's very depend on, um, on the companies. But I believe there should be less than 10%. Exact number need, need to be discussed further. Mm -hmm. um, so, our initial phase, we focus on terminal assignment. And I will show you something much simpler to, to understand what locomotive assignment is all about, and then we solve it together. How about that? Fun activities. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I know, it's already of course 5 o'clock. Uh, your mind is already at home or somewhere fun. Mm -hmm. So, let's solve this together. Very simple. Very simple. <clears throat> Imagine now you are locomotive managers and you're in front of your desk. Your responsibility to making this guy departing on time. Simple. Shaman have three types, we have locomotive types, same thing. We have only three. We judge it by the powerful. Blue is greater than red, and red greater than purple? Purple. Purple. So just three colors, three types, simple. In real life, it could be SD40, dash S, and AC. So just make it simplify three colors. Right? So this is something that coming to you from, from this. ID means inbound. OB means outbound. What is your goal? You try to match this to this as much as possible. Right? So you basically have to see which one is good match. And you have a certain rules. You cannot underpower. What does it mean? It doesn't move. <laughs> it will not move, right? It's a general law of physics, right? Yeah, it's exactly right. You, can, you, can, you cannot have a thin man carrying a very fat man, right? Same thing here. Yeah, very, very good analogy. Um, so, actually, I'm just kidding. I'm trying to solve the problem. I just show you a solution. So, people have to do this all the time, constantly, all the time. They will have three chips, five desks. One desk will take care of maybe 50, 60 terminals. So just thinking like this, you have to do this, maybe uh, 10, 15 terminals at all time. And things may change constantly. Change all the time, from inbound, outbound, everything change. Right, your, 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 your locomotive could be broken. Your income inbound train could be delayed. Right, or your outbound maybe get canceled because it's not sufficient fast. Assignment. Not bad. Right? Actually, in reality, it's 
is not like a click of switch or PowerPoint. People will just do one by one. They're thinking sequentially, just like chess. And I know chess is a very famous game here. Everything here is chess. But what is difficult is that there's a lot of unknown players. When you play against this, you actually don't know who play against you. The thing is that we're not actually like that. You sit with your friend, your friend taking care of other terminals. Whatever he did with getting impact on you, you may know, you may not know directly. And whenever you decide for the outbound, become the inbound of the other terminal. But then here's a problem, right? So what you want, you don't want to do is to create the busting. Busting means that you don't want to separate the locomotives. So separate the locomotive actually taking time, and you could cause a train to delay. As you can see here, you have a problem with overpower by 10%, delay by two hours, and this one even worse, delay by one hour, plus some overpower. So just imagine it now, your company said, I'm done with it. I don't want to be losing money no more. I want to buy local max, so you push the button. So now they improve immediately. <laughs> that was nice me. <laughs> so with a chain of one assignment, then we reduce one, uh, uh, one, one consist busting, and uh, don't need to use these two locomotives at all. So then we save two locomotives just like before, but with, but, but with less delay. So this is the power of using the software to solve the problem the right way, like a chess player. Okay, now since you are sleepy, and I think we have very, very smart people in this room. So we have 10 locomotives here. How many possibilities we can assign, just given that each locomotive is different? 10 locomotives. How many? How many possibilities? Yes? Factorial. Ten factorial. Good. Then next question, what is ten factorial? <laughs> Just kidding. So I use a calculator. <laughs> three point six million. Can you think six three point six million? If I give you like to say five five minutes to so just think through it. So to just put things in perspective, and this is I promise, this is very last slide, except after we come back. Uh, we give it to the very experienced locomotive manager. They take 30 minutes to solve similar problem for 30 locomotives, 40 locomotives. And our engine, which is based on mixed energy programming, similarly to Shaman, it's taking 15 milliseconds. But don't quote me on this, don't record. 15 milliseconds to solve the problem. So it means, first, you can use less people to do exactly the same work and better job at saving locomotives and making more on time. Thank you. Very short. I would like just to have a few announcements because we have some uh, upcoming events in March. Uh, so in March 2017, uh, we will have we are organizing hackathon, first data hackathon for transportation industry in Armenia, and uh, so we define some prizes. Uh, so three of them are defined. So the most innovative solutions, the best business concept idea is the most valuable solution for Armenia. Uh, uh, actually, we don't have any limitations for participants because we are looking for some talented people who can solve problems. So we don't, we, uh, so there is no any limitation with backgrounds, whether we need some technological or economical, whatever. Everyone can participate in this hackathon and we will be happy just uh, to host them and uh, so we are looking for just getting solutions of our problems. <laughs> so, and uh, after Hackathon, also uh, uh, we will have uh, extensive internship program, uh, which will last for three months, uh, where people can can learn new technologies. Also, our uh, our experts also will teach them jointly with our partners. And after that, these people, uh, whoever will pass this very difficult pass, mm -hmm. so he can be he can be chosen, he or she can be chosen uh, for scholarship program in our country. So I think uh, that's all from our side. Uh, please feel free to ask questions. Thank you.
apply. <coughs> How do you apply? Yeah. Uh, basically, you will announce it separately, so you will get all information. We will share it through all university channels, through our partners, so everyone will know about that. Mm -hmm. I think the team should consist uh, for two or two from two four people. So it, I think it's important that uh, teams will participate there because we need to see how people are solving problems. So it can be a mix of different backgrounds, let's say business, technological. So you can come and try to solve problems. Also, data will be provided from our side. It will be some anonymous data, but it will, will provide us for solution. Yeah. You don't have a limit on technologies, right? Yes, yes, definitely. So it's... May I have a question? Sure. Uh, you, you were going to have a uh, It's about the internships. So your internships are for computer science or uh, operations research positions and how many? Uh, and Our internship program will be on computer science mostly because it's, uh, it focuses just for developers. Uh, but basically I think therefore we are doing it after Hackathon because after Hackathon also we will evaluate the capacity of people and maybe we'll organize separate, let's say, uh, uh, sessions for operation research jointly with universities, yeah. but we are looking for talented people, therefore we are ready to do it quite open and take it on. It is just our first chance to evaluate what kind of, let's say, people we have, or what kind of talented people we have in our media. Now are you looking for uh, algorithmic design uh, or, or are you looking for software development? Uh, which side are you looking at? Meaning like a uh, developer for software, uh, software engineer, or are you looking at uh, algorithmic design specialist? Uh, Basically, we have both. Yes, so it will be a mix of both. Yes. Thank you. Yeah. If I have to add, I, I feel that uh, if you do very well on Hackathon, and doesn't matter what's your background is, yeah. I think you just show that you are very good in what you do. I mean, right? And Zuckerberg doesn't even finish that bachelor degree. Doesn't matter. If you are very good, then you come. I just have a question about uh, again programs. Uh, not, not uh, I, I was just 